Firing Squad, welcome back to another episode of Season 4 here, the first episode of June, and I made the 10-hour haul yesterday out to Mammoth Mountain. Um, I was just in Zion, I ripped up to Salt Lake, grabbed my skis and my gear, and then spent all day yesterday driving out here. It is a long, lonely, boring drive through Nevada, I, I don't even know, but we made it out here, found a, a nice quiet spot to sleep last night, got to the mill parking lot pretty early. I don't know if I've ever skied in June before when I was little. I used to do mogul camps up on the glacier in Whistler and can't remember if that was June, July or what that was, but we're just gonna say for the most part, I've really never skied in the month of June like this. Um, so I'm excited. Don't have a lot of experience with summer skiing and definitely I have zero experience with summer skiing at Mammoth. So it's gonna be an exploratory few days, but should be fun and just a way to get back on the skis um, this summer. Honestly, everything about this is new to me. The mountain is open 7.30 to one. So the hours are uh, abbreviated and it just starts way earlier. In typical fashion, we got breakfast going. Um, Tato's O'Brien, some scrambies, and then some uh, turkey breakfast sausage, which is a really nice addition. So parking lot's filling up. We're gonna get it, get it early before it gets uh, too slushy. I think I need to uh, tell you guys this, but I'm on the 106s today because that's kind of like, that really is my most narrow ski that I have. Um, but they have not been waxed or anything, any sort of maintenance for this temperature of skiing. So I think I'm just gonna go over to chair 23. You look steeper than I remember. <laughs> but let's go, we'll do a warm up on one of these little steep groomers and then maybe get into stuff more. But beautiful, beautiful day. I am wearing the black super black lenses. I think this is what these can these lenses are made for. So, chair 23. Oh man. It honestly kind of looks like the way that I saw it when I was here in December before all the crazy snow came. Which is nuts cuz it's June and it still looks like I mean, look at this coverage. It's like it's crazy. I might just hop into a Paranoid Flats. That's the only way to get back into it. Might as well just get it out of the way early, you know? I just haven't skied in a while, like consistently. I don't think I'm on my form. You got everything? Oh, no snow. Hard, fast snow. This might require some adventure skiing. We're hiking and we're skiing. It's like a two for one. Nice and slushy down here. Whoa. Where'd 
where does this put us? Anywhere we want to be or... Oh, it looks tight. Whoa. Nice. Look how good this is. Oh, this is what it's all about. Nice. Little ripper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Should we just rip a Philippe's? I think we can. Yeah, let's just do a Philippe's. I don't think that gap is there. And if it is. Oh, it's a little scratchy. But. Scratchy and sticky here. <laughs> um, you know, exercising caution. It's icy in the choke here. We gotta get back in the sun. This is where we just gotta survive this little bit. on your feet. Okay. Man, it's rock hard in here. The grip that we had is gone. When you have that slush. There's the choke. Choke's done. Yeah, see how the difference in the snow? That was probably harder then than we did before. Now we can ski. Oh, this is beautiful. Nice. We'll take that, I mean, First run of the whole week. Haven't been on skis in a while. Yeah, we'll take that. I was stoked I was able to do that. It wasn't the cleanest by any means, but I wanted to give myself some slack. The hardest part was that in the choke there, there's no sun. So it was extremely icy. And I think it's crucial to not let your feet Get out from underneath you there because you know you'll be going for a ride so i want to just do one of those paranoid flats where it's nice slushy steep skiing and then we'll uh we'll move on and cruise but oh it's beautiful a little better entry that time let's go to the sun wall <laughs> Sun wall. Can't ski through that.
I am very pleasantly surprised with how long the snow is holding for, how long it's staying for. It has been a few hours and the snow is still good. I found myself back up on 23 because I figured as the day gets later, this is probably the better, better spot. So I'm gonna rip a few more up here. But yeah, just overall uh, impressed and surprised with the quality for June 2nd or whatever it is. June 1st, June 2nd, but nice. This is usually the point where I do a shot of me taking my skis off, but look at this parking lot. There's Luna with the Starlink. Look at how many people are out here. How many vans and truck campers and... I mean, this is pretty, pretty crazy for June. Okay, so now the plan is to go up to a place called Convict Lake, which I think is just sort of down the road from Mammoth. So just kind of hang out, maybe catch a sunset when that time comes, but yeah, gonna head out of Mammoth for a little bit before uh, finding camp. Last night, I dreamt that I was with you in the sugar blue waters and your big strong hands. Once I knew I was asleep Hoping that just maybe It was real this time A little rain begins to fall down Wash it away and see what stays around And round we go now I lay my eyes that you live by my side You know, I do this because I love making videos. I love exploring life. I don't think me or anyone necessarily needs to limit themselves to one thing so this has been a cool day because I just feel like personally I've been able to combine um, things that I'm passionate about things that I love and things that I um, more importantly have a passion to share with you guys you know so it's all kind of part of the journey I think just this just kind of shows what's out there and it's just been kind of a wild ride you know four years in the making coming into our first uh, year of doing this full time
lot of driving around. Oh, they've settled on this camp. I'm just filming this for my own purposes so I can look back and just remember the beautiful camp that I had looking at the Sierra Mountains at the sunset. Beautiful, just absolutely beautiful. Holy cow. And to end the day of epic adventure, I made some ribeye steak with some zucchini and mushrooms and onions, just a big old plate of veggies. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, felt really fun to get back out on the skis. It was a pretty epic day from start to finish. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, man.